Can I tell you something? About Seventh Grade. You're not gonna like it. The first thing you need to be or do is always be organized. If you're not organized, then you're not gonna be able to keep up with eight classes. Eight. Not two, not one, but eight. Eight or more. And I have eight in my middle school. And I personally have trouble with being organized, but I usually carry up to three binders, which isn't a good idea because if you do that, your back will hurt. Trust me, my back hurts every single night. And I would just suggest, because... In my middle school, I'm not allowed to carry around a backpack. I'll get in trouble. Um, but you could have your locker. And you need to keep your locker number somewhere. Probably, like, write it down on your wrist whenever you go on, like, vacations or whatever. And um, just write it down. And whenever you come back to school, it'll be on your wrist. So that you're like, oh, my locker number is da 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 And um, it's easy to write it down on your wrist because you can easily just grab a pen and write it down on your wrist um but i would suggest during each class go back to your locker grab your binder that you need and go to the class that you have next and another thing is with being organized you could have one two three four five six seven eight you get it and have like math, science, lunch, theater, whatever. And like just write one uh, math. The second period would be lunch. Um, and that would be on and on and on, you know? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so just be organized. It's easier to be organized than not be organized. Uh, so be organized. And the second fact is. Well, body changes. Your voice is going to change and boobs are going to grow on girls. <laughs> and changes are going to happen to you, to your friends, to everyone else. And you don't need to be scared. If you're, all your friends wear bras and you're the only one who doesn't wear a bra... Be confident in that you don't have a bra. Just be like, no, I don't wear bras, so what? And, like, be confident. That's another fact. Like, you should be confident. Always be confident. I know this is about body changes, but also be confident. Um, and you should just go through body changes the way you would go through every day. Like... Let's say you go to school, you unpack your stuff, and then you go to your classes, right? You don't need to worry about your period or your voice changing. Just worry about stuff that you normally worry about. I would suggest not worrying about anything because it's better not to have stress. Um, the third fact or thing is relationships. <sighs> relationships are in middle school. And middle school relationships mm, probably last up to a week. <laughs> and they're not really relationships because if they last up to a week, then they're not really anything. But, I mean, you don't... If you don't have a relationship with someone... You don't need to worry. Like, it doesn't mean that you're not cool if you don't have someone by your side. It doesn't mean that you're a loser if you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It doesn't mean that you won't have any friends because you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It means that it's a relationship. And... 
normally relationships in middle school don't last very long. They only last a, to like a week. And I used to have a relationship with someone and it lasted up to third grade to sixth grade. I kind of broke up with him and we moved on our separate ways. And I still have friends. I have people I talk to. But we, me and my ex-boyfriend, we didn't really hang out or like do stuff that a normal couple would because we were we were in third to sixth grade like and he was cool he was a cool guy but I mean I I don't feel I didn't feel anything like I felt like he was just a friend you know and the fourth fact is don't be stupid to be cool. You don't need to be stupid to be cool. Sorry, my camera is focusing on something else and it's scaring me. <laughs> Anyways, you don't need to be stupid to be cool. If you're stupid, like, sure, a lot of people like you because you're like, oh my god, he's so stupid, it's funny. But, like, you don't need to be stupid to be cool. Okay, just be yourself and people will love you. What is it doing? Uh, it's like focusing over here and my face is like right here. Anyways, you don't need to be stupid to be cool. And people are going to like stupid people, but if you're stupid and like people like the stupid you and not the real you, they're losers. And you, if you try to express yourself as you, and they're like, I don't like you because you're not the guy I used to know. <laughs> Just tell them I was stupid. I was stupid. Okay? I was stupid and I didn't know what I was doing. I was stupid. That was weird. Anyways. The fifth and the final fact is you are special just the way you are. You are special just the way you are. Anyway, sorry. I like singing. Um, you're special. You don't need to change anything about you. If you're big like I am and nobody likes you, you're special. If you're skinny, and people don't like you because you're too skinny or whatever. Then just be like, I'm special. And I get it. Special does not mean the same thing that it used to. Special is a bad thing or whatever. But you are special. I know I sound like a retard, but you are special. You are brilliant. You are talented. You are amazing. And you should love yourself. No matter what happens through your life, you should love yourself. Sorry, this kitchen light is there. Is that better? Okay. You should love yourself because you are special no matter what. You are talented. And everyone loves you. Sorry, my, my hair is a mess. <laughs> you are special just the way you are. And you should love yourself. That was advice for 7th grade, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.